the professor puzzle set of eight box comes with a combination of wooden and metallic puzzles it has a description behind the box and also you can see they are beautifully looking puzzles that are wooden as well as metallic with some vibrant colors so let's jump right in and see how these puzzles work the first puzzle that you see is called napoleon cannon balls these are six pieces with four of them having three beads and two of them having four beads each the goal of the puzzle is to build a pyramid using all these balls as you can see these balls are so slippery so you may have to use an additional support in order to build a pyramid let me move to a non slippery surface before i try to solve this puzzle a fabric base works perfectly fine try to arrange two pieces like this and stack one on top but carefully hold them together take any three beads and stack vertically like this similarly take another three bead piece and place it vertically by now you must be able to visualize that last piece can easily fit in and there you go the pyramid is complete the second puzzle is named cassini's rings it has two metallic rings and two strings attached to each other the goal of the puzzle is to separate both of them since the strings are not big enough it's not easy to separate them since both the strings are also not flexible there is no way you can go around the ring and if you try to move apart they become even stronger alternatively you can see what happens when i place the rings in parallel i have a formation like this when i can separate the black from the purple when i can reinsert the black inside the purple and move it around the ring again i might reach the same state as before a little extra length here did the magic the third puzzle is a wooden ball known as drake's bowl the objective of the puzzle is to break the ball and then rebuild the pieces to build this ball again while it can be broken easily rebuilding from the pieces is tough you have to assemble these six pieces to rebuild the ball you can start by placing two pieces at 90 degree like this and placing a third piece in between something like this so as to make a triangular shape now here comes the next challenge while your one hand is busy holding this shape now you have to think of reorganizing similar shape by one hand only you may have to develop a special technique to hold the pieces with one hand only as you can see i am struggling here but in some time you can see i would be in a good shape to hold this together it is a game of patience and now you can see i have rebuilt the second shape as well finally i thought i was in control and i built two similar shapes but when i tried to assemble them it was not easy at all what is the issue here why i am not able to rebuild the ball the real problem is both shapes are equal to each other whereas i have to make a shape which is mirror image of each other here you can do a slight adjustment like this to make a mirror image shape somewhat like this so now with these mirror images if i try to merge them together i should be able to rebuild this ball the puzzle is solved next puzzle is called jefferson snails you have two specially designed nails and you have to separate them i myself struggled a lot in this puzzle because i was moving both the nails together but the easy way to solve this puzzle is to freeze one nail's position in order to separate both of them let's see how it works place one nail's flat end away from you while place the second nail's flat end like this now just move the nail in your right hand to the left and keep moving it until you reach the end of that particular nail 
when you reach the end you can separate them and to put them back insert at the same position keep moving again and then move to the right when you restore to the same position and the puzzle is solved our next puzzle just has three pieces and the task is we have to use all of them to make a pyramid the logic that you might use is the pointy end for the smaller piece try to overlap it with the larger piece to make the pointy end the apex and try to fit in the remaining piece to complete the pyramid a second method is take the two smaller pieces match their triangle and then you will see a rectangle like shape try to match it up with the larger one and then once it is there rotate the shape so that you can build the pyramid the next puzzle is called tesla's coil it comes with a spring and a ring attached to it the task of the puzzle is to separate the ring from the spring if you look at it carefully the ring is overlapping two coils and if you rotate the spring it may move left or right first simple trick is to bring the ring to the extreme left and then rotate it like this now if you watch carefully the ring is overlapping only one coil you have to do one more rotation here something like this and then do a final flip like this to separate the ring from the spring you can also bring it back by inserting at the same position doing a rotation and then a flip to go back to the original puzzle that existed in the box the next puzzle has two metallic rings entangled into each other which are specially designed and their open ends pointed inwards to solve it you can start by passing the gap through the stick something like this and then use gravity to suspend the right ring and then move leftwards like this once you reach the left side you may have to do a little adjustment like this and then rotate in opposite direction to separate the rings while you are here insert at the same position and then rotate in the similar way take it to the right by suspending again move it to the right and then reinsert at the same position smoothly something like this again pass the stick through the gap and there you go the puzzle is solved last but not the least is van gogh's box puzzle and the task is to open this box and then rebuild it again to open it you might have to look for a depression something like this if you can take out this piece then you can dismantle this puzzle now if you place all these pieces along with each other you will notice some differences this piece is totally different from the others while you can see the other one is slightly different from the others it has this longer elevation now just pick four similar pieces to rebuild this puzzle arrange them in such a way that one piece is sandwiched between the other two leaving the space for another piece now in this space you can fit in the fourth piece and make it tightly packed this is a crucial step now because you may have to move this piece to make space for the elevated piece now insert the longer elevated part here so that you almost have a finished box now twist it a little to face upwards so that you can fit in the last piece which is specially designed as you can see it is slightly cut insert the uncut portion first and then fit in the rest of the piece that's how the puzzle is solved